The Wooden Railway Originals of Thomas and Friends, Episode 90, Special Dome. It was winter on the island of Sodor. Thomas the Tank Engine steamed nervously along the line. His dome had never been the same since it had accident with some cars. Now the biting wind was trying to blow it away. My final, my dome feels wobbly. I wish, wish the mainland would hurry with the new one. They said it will be something special. You and your special dome, laughed the other engines. They were fond of Thomas, but his special dome had become quite a joke. Diesel heard everything. Ignore them, Thomas. They're just trying to mess with you. I hope if your new dumb dumb will come soon. Thank you, Diesel. Sorry, Thomas. And Thomas came the way to the sheds. Diesel steamed away to deliver his car cars. A couple of days later, it started to snow. It, it became frosty and much colder. And, and the water started to turn into ice. The soda where you repair was busy putting Thing salt and ballast onto the tracks. And as soon as he got all, on all the tracks up on the island of Toto for a, a, on the tracks for ballast and salt, he went back to the sheds. That is a sort of rare repair right that the ships. The honor manager arrived. The, the harbor line on top of the spent trying to track our crows and the last book I was on to the tracks. And the sort of rare repair here went to go consult hold on to the track tracks on the harbor branch line. The sort of rare repair put salt and the ballot just in time. Thomas made it safely along the, the heart of the branch line. All was well until there was a, there was there's something there was something hanging on to the boot and the riot that not with riot up. There's something hanging from the roof, shouted his driver. Then it happened. Thomas came out the divide at a different looking engine. 
He no longer had a dome. Here's what hit you, Thomas, said the conductor, and he produced a thick, cold icicle. Thomas just walk up the passengers at the harbor. Without the dome, the journey got a more difficult. When Frank saw Thomas without another stone, he was surprised. Well, grind my gears, cried Frank. What happened to your dome? Long story, said Thomas. Just then Frank saw, saw a piece of rubber lying beside the track. That's the thing that Thomas needs, said the driver. Or at least it'll help make it stand down on Thomas's boiler. Now I look ridiculous, said Thomas. Yeah, but you look great, great with the rubber on your boiler in the best way, said Frank. Then Thomas steamed away to the to Nackford Station to drop off his couches. No drama, well, that's the shame. When I did the ride up Dr. Moss's old dome, now was famous as the domes of Drain. The teasing continued until at last the Topham had arrived. Silence, he said. Soon Sir Topham had arrived with Thomas's new dome. Oh dear, someone. When, oh my goodness, someone fixed it. Of course, of course they did. Someone did, said Sir Topham Hat. This dome is just what you need. You'll soon see. <laughs> this new dome is standing and really e easy. Much easier. Even Daniel wasn't impressed. I don't get it. Thomas just seems to stroll around the line. He makes work look so easy. The engines don't last at Thomas's stone now. They wish they had one like it.